I'm here at the historic Mordecai Park in Raleigh, North Carolina. The park is dedicated to this house, the Mordecai House, uh, which is the oldest house still standing on its original foundations in the city. The park is a city park and on the grounds you can find a lot of different buildings from uh, Raleigh's uh, historic past. Um, plantation houses and other federal buildings, even um, a U.S. president's birthplace. So let's go check it out and see what this park is all about. The park is full of historic buildings which you can view from outside for free or pay five dollars for a tour of their interiors. You can explore an original outdoor kitchen from the 1800s and other buildings such as this plantation office and curing barn. Don't forget to check out the birthplace of Andrew Johnson, our 17th president by default. One of the most fascinating pieces in the park is this church brought in from a former plantation completely constructed by the hands of slate. Of course, the star of the show at Mordecai Park is its namesake house, which was once the main home on the more than 5,000 acre plantation. The surrounding plantation no longer exists and its lands make up Raleigh's most notable and prestigious neighborhoods. Multiple generations of the Mordecai family lived in this home and the city of Raleigh was founded inside. You can see the actual desk where the founding documents were signed. It's the oldest home in Raleigh still standing on its original foundations. So there you have it folks, uh, that is Raleigh's Mordecai Park. It's a historic park dedicated to the history of this city and it is well worth exploring because some of these buildings you can't really see anywhere else and you won't find the oldest building in Raleigh on its original foundations anywhere else. Um, the park is open from sunrise to sunset every day. Um, the visitor center is closed on Mondays and all major holidays. Uh, you can do a um, guided tour and go inside, but they don't allow video, so that's why there's no video footage of that in this video. I hope you've enjoyed this first uh, episode of Go Journey USA, and I hope you stay tuned in for more.